Hi guys, I want to show you my dream sandwich recipe. It is part garlic bread, part sandwich, part grilled cheese because it's got all of this nice garlic flavor, some tanginess thanks to ricotta, and then I use baked figs, but you could sub out any fruit that's seasonal in your area for that. Um, and then caramelized onions, some hot cherry peppers, so it has a nice spiciness. This sandwich is all encompassing, doesn't even need sauce, I promise you, because I am a huge sauce girl. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first I'm chopping up my figs. I'm cutting the ends off and then chopping them a length. Any seasonal fruit would be really yummy. And this is especially something that tends to be more juicy when it's baked, like a plum or a pear, um, if you don't and have to. Now I wanna get started on the sauce that I bake the figs in. So I use some olive oil and then I use some maple syrup. So it helps kickstart that caramelization of the figs when they're baking. And then I'm using some paprika, some pepper, red pepper flakes, and then some sea salt. And then I'm going to do a little spritz of lemon juice. Just to bring out the sweetness in the figs. And then also balance it out. And then some tomato paste. And I love the tomato paste because that thickens the sauce up a bit. And gives the figs just a nice kind of bright undertone to it. So you just want to whisk this together until the tomato paste is all smooth and the oil the sauce looks nice and blended. Now I'm going to take my figs and then dump them in. And then we're going to toss them into the sauce so that each fig bite is nice and coated in. So now I'm going to transfer the figs to a baking pan and I'm going to bake them for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. And then I'm going to top them with the rosemary and then bake them for another 10 minutes. Um, and you'll know that they're done when they start to bubble up in the center, like their guts are all bloody and boiling. While the figs are baking, let's get started on caramelizing our onions. I'm going to slice this onion lengthwise. All right. And I'm first going to melt my butter onto this pan. And then let that melt completely, and then we'll add the onions on top. So now we're going to add in our onions. I wish that I could videotape this whole thing, but I think that my phone would die from heat exhaustion. So for now, you'll just see this shot and then I'll cut to the other shot so you can see the caramelization. So my onions look ready. Now I'm gonna transfer them to a bowl and then we're just gonna reuse the pan that we used for the onions for the grilled cheese. So now we're gonna get started on the cheese that we're using. I use some ricotta. I use a cashew and almond one. I'll link up the recipe for you. Some mozzarella. And then chopped parsley. And then garlic. So give it a good stir. You want to make sure that all of the crushed garlic gets combined evenly. All right, so the figs are all baked. Now it's time to assemble the sandwich. I'm going to start by slathering some butter. I like to use a sourdough sandwich bread so it's nice and fluffy. You could also use like a French country bread. I just think that something that's like this, like white as opposed to like a whole grain is a lot more yummy with this. All right, so I buttered up one side. Now I'm gonna put it directly onto my skillet, not to waste any butter. And now I'm gonna take some of my cheese spread and then I'm gonna spread it on. I'm gonna do a thin layer onto the bread because it is very rich so you don't want to like overdo it with this and also keep in mind this does make four sandwiches but you don't have to make them all right away you could refrigerate the figs and the caramelized onion and even the cheese spread and then just make it throughout your week i feel like that would be a good idea and then you could have the sandwich every day which would be amazing i know i am I'm definitely going to have a sandwich every day. I already have had it three days in a row now, so look at me. And look at me, I'm doing pretty good, I'd say. If I, uh, you know, if I'm going to toot my own horn, I think it's getting me through the week. Alright. You just want, you want to make sure to get the cheese spread all the way to the corner so then every bite is full of that cheesy goodness. And now I'm gonna take some figs. Um, I'm gonna do about five or six to cover the surface. 
nice and evenly. And I'm going to face them upward just because I think that looks nice for my eyes right now. Kind of press it in so your sandwich isn't too thick. Thick's not a bad thing, but for a sandwich it could be a little messy. Alright, so I'm going to do six. I think that looks nice. And then I'm going to do my caramelized onions on top of the figs. I'm going to do kind of a handful. I don't know if that was a handful. But I just want to cover the figs. Blanket them up in the onion goodness. Alright. And then we're going to do the hot cherry peppers on top. You could get hot cherry peppers at most supermarkets, but I actually had a hard time finding them. So I would call ahead just so you don't relive what I experienced with having to like find a place like in a real pinch, in a real pinch. All right, so now I'm gonna take my top layer of bread and I'm gonna butter up one side. And pro tip, use room temperature butter for when you're spreading it onto the bread so it glides on nice and smooth and easy, doesn't rip up the bread. And now I'm gonna take the other side of the bread and top it off with some more of that delicious garlicky cheese bread that we used. Oh my god, this is so crispy and buttery when you slice into it, it's insane. Heaven. All the way to the corner. All right, and now I'm gonna top it off. And I like to use this one trick where I put another pan on top of this pan. So it's kind of like a DIY panini press. And then it just kickstarts the melting process and toasting process. And then you want to heat it up under medium heat. And then it takes about five minutes for that initial side. And then once you flip it over, you want to cook it for about two to three more minutes. So I'm definitely detecting that the sandwich is ready to flip. It had it has that uh, nice golden brown toasty scent. I'm going to flip it over. Ooh. And slice into it just so you can hear the nice crunch. I'm gonna do triangular style. Are you square or triangle? Maybe triangle? Mmm. Oh my god. It's honestly like better than a pizza, I swear. Please make this. It's like it's satisfying all my taste buds at once. It is just the most fulfilling sandwich you'll ever make. So now you guys know how to make one of my favorite sandwiches in the world. Um, also, please request recipes from me. You know, I could be like a DJ. You request the song you want to hear. You want to request the recipe you want to hear, and I'll make it happen. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching.